Hello everybody, welcome to a new show with a mod pack called Infotech. This is actually Infotech version 3 and the Infotech mod is based around Greg Tech. And if you're familiar with Greg Tech, you know what that means. And if you're not, well, you'll find out if you watch my series. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. I am not very original on names for my worlds, but whatever. Anyway, after the world loaded up, I am here. I am playing in hard mode. And Greg Tech, if you've never played with Greg Tech, Greg Tech really changes a lot of different things about Minecraft. Basically, I was looking for something a little more challenging and I was trying to decide between Greg Tech and Terra Firma Craft. They both are similar to me, similar for me in certain ways. Uh, they just do things uh, differently, but they provide an added challenge and an added complexity, which I like. I've been waiting for a couple of months for this particular mod pack to get updated. The reason I chose it over doing something with Terra Firma Craft is because this mod pack has Thomcraft in it. And you may have seen just a little bit ago off the corner, the uh, wolves attacked, or a, a wolf was there and it attacked a couple of sheep. This actually gave me a little bit of a leg up on things here. I go over and collect the wool and I'm going to be able to use that wool. I'll kill another sheep later and uh, make a bed. One of the first things I wanted to look for was a rubber wood tree to get some sap. But this gives me an, an, uh, a, an opportunity to show you. You may have noticed that each log there only created two wood planks. It's one of the changes that Greg Tech makes. The idea is that you have to make a saw in order to get four planks like you would normally be used to in normal Minecraft. But anyway, I'm here making a tap, and then the tap will allow me to get the sap from the rubberwood tree, and then I'm going to cut down the tree in order to get rubberwood sapling, because I'm sure I will need it later. As I said, this mod pack has Thomcraft in it, which is a mod that I've kind of avoided messing around with, but I would like to experiment with it. So I decided to wait until this mod pack got updated. As I said, it's just been updated to version uh, 3, and it just uh, got updated last weekend, so I'm able to start playing in this world. As you can see, I'm finally able to make a bed. And this really gave me a leg up in this, because at this point what I've decided is I'm going to look for tin before I even settle down, before I even try to make a base. This is the first village that I came across in my explorations. And of course my thought process is to go ahead and take whatever they might have. There were no chests, all I got was some food. i show you this part here, that, that what you're seeing there is lignite coal ore. And this will give you an idea of the way the ore veins generate in Greg Tech. That's a volcano, that's actually I think from the Project Blue mod, but I thought the volcano looked pretty cool. Here's another view of some ores up in that mountain up on the left. You can kind of see the lignite ore is a little bit quick, but I've got some better views of ores later on. Here's some coal ore, and you can see there's a bunch of it, and it's all dotted through. And that's what Greg Tech does. It creates veins of ore rather than little clumps of ore. And it can mean that finding an ore can take a lot longer, but when you do find it, you're going to find a lot of it. I came across this desert temple. I forgot to record me going into it, but I basically came out of it with uh, a sword and some armor and a bunch of food. Now, this village turned out to be a little bit interesting. Um, first thing I did was come over and decide I'm going to take uh, their carrots from them. I mean, you know, why not, right? And of course, I'm also interested in any chests. I'm interested in any goods that I can get. And I look in here, this is the conference room, as, as you can see, that's where they all congregate at. And there is a tower here for Thomcraft, which 
can sometimes have some good stuff. So heading up in the, into the tower, and I find myself some thom, Thaumium ingots and a Thaumonomicon, so I figure I might as well grab that. That'll come in useful. Now, <laughs> as I come down out of the tower, I happen to notice that there's one of these ritual things. And I turn away from it, and then I think, boy, that's awfully close. And then there they are. That made me jump. I was just like, whoa, they are on me so fast. Uh, it was pretty funny after the fact. At the time, my heart was racing. Uh, I didn't want to die. I traveled fairly far, and I didn't want to die and have to start all the way back at spawn. Found out they're still chasing me, so I decided I cannot loot the rest of the village. I'm just going to have to run for my life and get away from there. Maybe if I get powerful enough later, I can come back and save that poor village from those weird... Um, guys and whatever it is that they were doing uh, over there. Here's another example of some ore generation. This uh, we're coming up, up to here is magnetite and gold. And again, you see how it's all dotted. Again, Greg Tech makes veins of ores. So when you find them, there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, sometimes they can just be hard to find. As you can see here, I'm making waypoints every time I find ores so that I will be able to come back to them at uh, later dates if I need that particular ore. And here's some more lignite coal ore to kind of give you an idea of how much of it can generate in a vein. So again, when looking for a vein, it may be hard to find a vein of ore, but when you do find it, there is going to be a bunch of it. Basically, every time I came to some um, extreme hills type biomes I got excited hoping that I would find tin. Tin is one of the hardest it may be the hardest ore to find in Greg Tech which is why I decided I'm going to travel until I find tin and then set down roots wherever that might be. Here I found some bauxite and alum aluminum. Aluminum. Uh, I'm used to saying aluminum I'm in America. I see this chest and I decide I want to get what's in it. It's full of goodies. And I start grabbing stuff and then suddenly I remember these things spawn the wisps which will probably kill me. And again, I don't want to die because I've traveled so far. So I admit I chickened out and I left. <laughs> again, every time I saw Extreme Hills, I'd get excited. Maybe this is going to be my chance to finally find tin. And no... Tin. Tin tends to generate at higher levels, so that's why the extreme hills tend to be good places to look for it. But again, no tin. And here I found a troll because I saw this and I thought I finally found tin. And it's Certus Quartz Ore and Quartzite Ore. Grrr. More extreme hills and still no in. Somewhat frustrated, I've been searching for hours at this point. I even slogged my way through a jungle, and I gotta tell you, trying to make your way through a jungle is the worst thing. It is awful and miserable and slow, and I won't do it again if I can help it, that's for sure. Now, if you have a quick eagle eye, right up here on the left, you'll see some tin or cassiterite right there. And I missed it. I was a little bit probably tired at this point. Like I said, I've been, literally been uh, searching for hours. You can see some more there next to the lava. But as I come up around this mountain and make a look, I all of a sudden realize there's cassiterite, which is tin. And there's a pause here because I literally threw my hands up in the air and was just overwhelmed with some type of relief at having finally found the the holy grail of Greg Tech ores, finding the tin. So I'm uh, kind of on the edge of a foresty type of biome, and after putting in a waypoint, although I don't think I could forget that it's here, I come around this mountain and decide that I am going to set up my base right on the other side in the uh, forested area that's here but 
I was so, so tired at this point that I pretty much just hit quit and went to bed. <laughs> can't even get up the tree <laughs> okay so to give you an idea of how much searching I did let's go to the map here and zoom it out wait for it to load up okay I started somewhere down <laughs> here uh, yeah I started somewhere in this area I believe and so you can see I searched around, I went up here a little bit, and then I went this way. That was that big volcano I found. I went up this way, I went up and around here. I think, oh, right there maybe is the, no, that's not the volcano, or the desert temple. I think the desert temple was somewhere in this area. Anyway, uh, up into this area, up here, up and around, and I went up this way. You can see I started mapping out some of the ores. Then I crossed over to this direction, up into here, searching all around here. This was the jungle I slogged my way through, and down. I came back down this way, and that's where I'm at here. So, obviously a lot of searching to find the tin although I doubled back because I went up here and then came back around down so had I gone this way directly might have saved myself a little bit of time there but uh, so here I am near the tin vein and I built myself a little house I'm doing some terraforming I'm gonna want to plant some crops and there you can see the tin and it is fairly well camouflaged with the stone so it's also possible that I may have missed some previous elements of tin I don't think that I did but considering how hard it is to see it here you know it's definitely a possibility but yeah so the next thing I'm gonna do is plant some crops so that I will have some food I still have some food left over of what I found in that desert temple including some of these hearty breakfasts those will last me a long long time and these pizzas those will actually last me quite a, a while as well but the food that I am going to sort of decide to, to survive on I can get from these ground gardens and uh, there wasn't any in that one Ah, there we go right here peanuts so I'm gonna start with peanuts and then I'm going to add some type of a fruit maybe blackberries or blueberries or something of that nature and what that will give me is a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich now these sandwiches are oh and of course wheat for with bread these sandwiches as you can see here they restore four hunger and four saturation I don't know why I am on cheat mode here let me get out of that yeah um, they restore four hunger and four saturation which I think is a nice uh, level of hunger renewal or hunger saturation if you will I could try to make something like the hearty breakfast which obviously restores a lot more hunger and a lot more saturation but I don't let my hunger get down that low or I don't like to so I think these sandwiches are better um, because I usually let my hunger get down one or two points and then I'll be able to eat something so I think these are better or more useful or they're easier to craft and I can use them easier because again I don't let my hunger get way down but you know maybe I'm wrong if somebody has some better insights into that why let me know I'd love to hear it and it just so happened that there is lignite and coal ore here in this area that I am uh, as I said terraforming this out so that I can have a place to plant my crops now the reason that I'm using this existing area if you will one of the things that Greg Tech does is it eliminates the infinite water 
uh, experience. So if you bucket out water, that water will not be replaced. And so it's easier to find an existing area of water and plant crops next to it, at least I think so. And the next thing that I want to show you is that, as I said, this is a tin slash cassiterite ore vein. And you can see there's a bunch of tin and cassiterite here. And if we go up and around, there's more throughout here. But every once in a while, you will also find something called a small ore. In this case, this is a small iron ore. And normally, you cannot... I can mine this with a uh, stone pickaxe, but this small ore, if it was regular iron ore, I don't think I would be able to, but I can uh, mine out a small ore with this stone pickaxe. And when you mine it out, you get this impure pile of iron dust and occasionally an impure pile of stone dust. Now, the impure pile of iron dust can be placed into a furnace and I think it it gets turned directly into a piece of iron let me make a furnace I haven't even made a furnace yet I spent a lot of time clearing out some trees and building this uh, little house and I have some, well, I'm going to go ahead and just use wood just for demonstration purposes. But anyway, uh, where is it? The impure pile of iron dust. There we go. So I believe that will cook directly into an iron ingot, if I recall correctly. And yes, sure enough, it does. So that's good. And that will actually give me six iron ingots here. I've got some copper and some tin that I found in uh, the uh, desert temple earlier. So I might use that to make some bronze so I can get started making some tools. That's my concern right now is the ability to make tools. I'm not going to get too much into tool making and or and, and the metals and stuff. I'm going to start that in the next episode. Uh, one thing I did want to say about Greg Tech is wood cannot be smelted into charcoal. See, nothing happens. You can't make charcoal in this fashion. And that's the big reason why I wanted to find the rubber trees because no charcoal means difficulty making torches. But you can make torches with the resin from a rubber tree. And I forgot to grab sticks. But essentially, resin and sticks will get you four torches each. So that is the primary reason why, at the beginning, I wanted to make sure I had a rubber tree. When I came out here, there were plenty of rubber trees that I cut down. So it turned out I didn't need to worry about it. But it's one of those things where I knew I might end up in an area where there were no rubber trees. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Again, I spent a large amount of time just searching for this uh, tin uh, or vein. Um, let me see if I can figure out how much time I spent based upon how much I recorded. I've got three hours of recorded video, so it took three hours to find probably a little bit more than that with uh, parts that were cut out and not recorded and stuff. So, And this is one aspect of Greg Tech that a lot of people dislike, having to search forever to find some tin. And I can understand that. I can understand the frustration that comes from it. I've, as I said earlier, I've played Terra Firmacraft, and Terra Firmacraft is probably even worse as far as the amount of searching you have to do to find the ores that you're looking for. The one benefit of Terra Firmacraft is probably the simple fact that there are hints 
in that there are uh, you will find little rocks on the ground that indicate that that ore may be below there and also you can get something called a prospector's pick which will help you find ores so the, the, searching for the tin doesn't bother me uh, be, again because of my familiarity with terra firma craft um, the only thing I'd say to people who don't like searching for the ores is I've seen people spend a lot of time searching for the end strongholds I've I've seen people spend a lot of time searching in the nether for strongholds, for the nether strongholds, for the end portal is what I meant to say the first time. Um, a lot of times in the game there is a lot of things that you have to spend time searching for and you also have the random number generator sometimes just isn't in on your side on that particular world on that particular day. and. Also, it's entirely possible, as I said, I started, let's go back down to where I started, which was way down here. Okay, I started down here, and I went searching, I basically went searching this way, and then north. But, for all I know, there could be a tin vein right here, or right here, and I just happened to go the wrong direction, because I just picked a direction, and I went so can be a little bit frustrating i know that but chalk it up to part of the fun it was exciting kind of exploring the world and seeing things and finding things and now i'm here i've got a little house to start with i've got some tin i need to start making some tools but i'm going to do that in the next episode thank you so much for joining me i appreciate it if you have questions if you have comments please leave them for me below i do read them and i do respond and i'll see you next time